I had a great story recently, uh, I love telling it, of a little girl who was uh, in a drawing lesson, she was six, and she was at the back drawing, and the, the teacher said, this little girl hardly ever paid attention, and in this drawing lesson she did. And uh, the teacher was fascinated, she went over to her and she said, what are you drawing? And the girl said, I'm drawing a picture of God. And the teacher said, but nobody knows what God looks like. And the girl said, they will in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> when, <laughs> when my son was four in England, actually he was four everywhere to be honest, I mean, <laughs> if we're being strict about it, wherever he went he was four that year, but he was in the nativity play, do you remember the story? <laughs> didn't have to speak, but do you know the bit where the three kings come in? Now they come in bearing gifts and they, they bring gold, frankincense and mare, this really happened little four-year-olds with tea towels on their heads, and they put these boxes down. The first boy said, I bring you gold. And the second boy said, I bring you mare. And the third boy said, Frank sent this. <laughs> what these things have in common, you see, is that kids will take a chance. You know, if they don't know, they'll have a go. Am I right? They're not frightened of being wrong. Now, I don't mean to say that being wrong is the same thing as being creative. What we do know is, if you're not prepared to be wrong, you'll never come up with anything original. If you're not prepared to be wrong. And by the time they get to be adults, most kids have lost that capacity. Uh, they have become frightened of being wrong. And we run our companies this, by the way. We stigmatize mistakes. And we're now running national education systems where mistakes are the worst thing you can make. And the result is that we are educating people out of their creative capacities. Picasso once said this, he said that... All